What up everybody? It's your girl July from Kickback Couture. Today I'm gonna show y'all how to do UK drill 808 slides and reason. Behind me, you'll see I got thermal from output. It's kicking. So if y'all would like to know more about that plugin, I will do a full-on feature on how I use it. Y'all let me know, but let's get straight into this UK drill tutorial. Okay, so I have a grain. It is blank. I just drug it in. I got an NNXT. It is blank. Nothing is pre-selected. So we are starting from these basic patches from scratch. And I'm going to show you exactly what I am doing. All right, so let's start with this kick. Sorry, let's start with the first sub. I'm actually going to put samples in both of these devices. Okay, cool. So here's grain. I'll just put a sub base in it. And you can get your sub base samples from anywhere. Um, you could even, you know, do this with uh, a synthesizer. I have a video that shows you how to slide anything. So you can go check that out. I'll put it in the cards and in the description just in case you can't see the cards up above. Those little things that pop up in the upper right corner when you're watching the video and you like it out the way. Yeah, those. But anyways, let's go over green. So this is what the sample sounds like. The first thing you're going to do is drag to show the entire length of the sub base, the sample. The next thing you can do is set the pitch. Now the reason we drug this out all the way is because if you didn't, it wouldn't play all of it. And we want to play all of it. And we set the pitch so that when we play our MIDI keyboards or we pencil in our notes in the sequencer, that it plays the right key, it plays the right pitch. The next thing you're going to do is change the algorithm down here. Now this is what it sounds like on long grains. If you would like a smoother sound, you can go with tape. And you can see how much smoother and clear that sounds. Now the motion is on forward loop and we're going to keep it on forward loop. What we can do, however, is turn up the loop crossfade so the pops aren't as pronounced when it loops back around. And if that doesn't help, I have another trick I'll show you. In this case, it didn't work. Now we can move these around. And this will give us a smoother loop point. If that still doesn't do it and you can't get it right, this will work every time and you should, I would say, do this first. Go to the pin tool up here. It says edit sample. And you're going to hit crossfade loop. This is going to crossfade the loop for you and sound smoother so you don't have those pops. Now you can also put this on loop forward and set the loop points here. and play it. And listen to it before you decide to save it. All right, cool. So now we have a smooth sounding sub bass here. If you get that pop in the beginning and you don't like it, you can bring up the attack and that'll smooth out that initial transient. The transient is where it first hits the beginning of the sound. You hear that popping? That's the transient. And now it's smooth. The next thing you need to do is make it slide. So down here on key mode, we'll change this to legato. Poly means you play more than one note at once. We don't want to do that with our sub bass, so we're going to put it on legato. That way the notes cancel each other out and we can only play one at a time. If we put it on retrig, you can also do the same thing, but legato is going to be smooth. So we're going to keep it on legato. Portamento, we're going to turn that on. This is where you're going to control how fast or slow your slides happen.
If we bring it all the way up, you might like it that fast or slow, whatever. Um, I'm going to bring it down. Now, after that, you might want to go in and add some distortion, which, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. Turn on the distortion. That slide was a little messy. So I would turn my portamento down. But if I was to go with the distortion of choice, I would grab output thermal. And this just released, by the way, but it is another incredible plugin by Output. And uh, let's go grab some presets. I like Unruly. I have it starred here, as you see. So let's go ahead and hear what this sounds like and see if we need to make any changes to the portamento settings or anything like that. I made a few mistakes so from there you could just go in and fix it and I'm also showing this so you can see what everything looks like let's listen now for these parts I'm gonna make the note lengths all equal by clicking on that equal sign up there I'm gonna drag these out so it sounds like this now All right, cool. As for the timing issues, I'll select everything by hitting Command A or Control A, and then Command K or Control K to quantize. And then also, what you can do is hit F8 on your keyboard and come down to where you see Legato Adjustments in this drop down. We're gonna hit Side by Side, and that is gonna make everything connect. Now you might not want to do that depending on uh, how your slides are. It could mess everything up. So I'm just going to do it to these parts here, side by side. And then I'll drag out this last one manually. And um, I want all of these notes to have the same velocity, meaning they all hit at the same volume, velocity down here. Because this patch is velocity sensitive, meaning if you hit the note softly, it would have played softly. And if I hit it harder, it would have sounded louder. All right, let's do this for the NNXT. I'm going to mute grain and drag these notes to the NNXT. Also gonna insert thermal here, effects, output, thermal. Grab that go-to preset for now on root. All right, now all I did was drag the sample into NNXT and it, it's already set up. It lasts forever, I don't have to do anything to it. Now the only thing we do have to do, I should correct myself, is set the slides. So you're gonna come up here and you're gonna hit group poly. And this will allow you to play one note at a time. Group mono. I think I said group poly. So yeah, group mono. And you're also going to change the key poly down to one just to be safe. Um, just in case. And then here, legato. And the reason I said just to be safe, if for some reason this button gets clicked off, it'll still only play one at a time. So you can do either one of these and be fine. You don't have to do both. And let's turn up the portamento so we can slide. If you wanna adjust the attack settings, you could do that here on the amp envelope. This is the initial transient. 
If for some reason you're working with the NNXT and it didn't automatically find the loop in and start points and set up forward loop for you, you can do all that with these knobs. So if you just turn, you'll get all the options here, forward loop, and you can set the loop start and end points yourself. You can also right click this, go to edit sample and put it on loop mode and hit crossfade mode. It'll be smooth. And this is if it doesn't do it for you. So let's hear it. So if it doesn't work out by just dragging it in and it's not right, no problem. I showed you how to do it. Let's hear what it sounds like. So I forgot to set the pitch. So let's right click, set root notes from pitch detection. Now, the key was already set correctly, but because of where I placed the notes in the sequencer, it was too low. So I just uh, hit set root notes to pitch detection and it automatically drops it down to C0. And I'll just turn it down. You could do that with the master volume here. You could also do it with the level here. We can keep messing with the portamento slide settings. Not too much. And I will ultimately end up changing something with this so i'll probably zoom in let's put this on grid duplicate this let's hear what this sounds like i would reverse these notes so just select both of them right click reverse So something cool like that. That wraps up what I wanted to show y'all for this tutorial. Basically a collection of things I've shown you all in the past, but in one in the UK drill genre. So if you like this video, definitely give it a like, comment down below, subscribe. Most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, cook up. Follow me on Instagram. Let's get it.